beat them in the upcoming match. They want a title match. Okay, David, we're right down to the wire here, but we still got some time for another uh, what could be a good match. Could be there? a good one. Tag team match coming up here. You see the uh, names on the screen there. Brian Lee and Scott Steiner in the ring. Scott out of Detroit, Michigan. Brian, you met earlier. He's out of Orlando, Florida. Weighs in at 268. Gives you an idea of his size. Speaking of size, across the way, you got Cactus Jack at almost 250. He's out of Truth or Consequences, New Mexico. And carrying that CWA heavyweight belt in his hand. And, and who knows what else he might have hidden on his person. Mm -hmm. Out of Jackson, Tennessee, Phil Hickerson. Downtown Bruno's in their corner. Downtown Bruno Hickerson, I guess I should say. Yeah, yeah, we got to be sure and get that in because he'll pester you for the rest of the week and if you don't say that about mm. him. Jerry Calhoun, the referee, and we are about set to go with tag okay. team action. Okay, bell time, and here we go. Scott Steiner, young man out of Detroit, Michigan, two-time NCAA um, All-American from the University of Michigan, great amateur hey, record. What a background he's got. Yes, downtown. What does NCAA mean? Never can amount to anything? <laughs> uh, well, yeah, yeah, well. That was good. Give me credit, Lance. Yeah, I'll give you credit for it. You know what kind of credit I'll give you. That's another thing you're not in. That's a comedian. Coming out of Truth or Consequences, New Mexico, and just caught with a dandy little hip toss is Cactus Jack as Scott Steiner popped him up and over. Put him down on it, boy. Plenty of muscle on one side of the ring there for a fact. You're right about that. Scott Steiner looking mighty good there with Cactus Jack on the mat. Over to the corner, and the tag is made on Brian Lee. Brian had a tough go earlier today. In here with Scott Steiner. It looked like it could be a pretty well-matched tag team. Hey, you know what this Brian Lee reminds me of? Some guy beat up in a gutter one day, left him laying there bloody. That's who he reminds me of. Hey, he might remind me of him again if he messes with downtown Mel Dickerson or Cactus Jack or my daddy. Hey, my daddy's a champion. Is your daddy? Anybody out there got a daddy that's a champion? Hey, Jamie, your daddy ain't no champion. My daddy's a champion. Just remember that, Paul. Well, he's been champion enough times, and you know it. Ben, I know ben, it ben, ben, yeah, he has been. You All know, right, he Bruno. Been. He ain't Let right us now. get into the action hey, he's here. a legend. He's a superstar. He's great. Bill Dundee's a great wrestler. I won't take nothing away from him, but Ooh. he is not the champion. Well, there's your daddy just kicking Scott Steiner in the back when he's got no business even being. If he wants to wrestle him, get in there and do it. Don't nail him from behind. Don't go making unfounded accusations. Bill Hickerson hey, was in touch with his knee back, and Steiner stumbled and fell right into him. And it ain't my daddy's fault, and it ain't Jack's fault. Everybody fault. at this table is not a fool, Bruno. Just one that I can think of. A big body Don't slam. Don't talk about him. Dave Brown that way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whip into the rope, Steiner. <laughs> taken by Hickerson, a big power slam. <laughs> of two and Steiner kicks out of it and I'm amazed at the way uh, Hickerson powered him down I didn't think Scott was going to be able to get out of that one but he did uh, kick out just before the three count fell Hickerson round behind Cactus Jack with a boot to the midsection Bruno finally gone he's over around ringside in a way I kind of wish Bruno were still over here running his mouth because at least maybe he would stay out of the action that way boy that's a tough choice to make Dave yeah, yeah. <laughs> got that <to> day <laughs> Cactus oh, Jack straightened him up. He unlaced his boots with that one. And Steiner kicks out again at the two count as Jack from behind. He unlaced his boots. That's a shame. He's never going to be able to get him tied up again because he don't have enough money left for that renegade red face to pay the guy to tie his boots he used to have. You know what I mean? Because he can't lace his own boots. You know what I'm talking about? He blew all that money going to school trying to get yeah. a brain, but he didn't get it. You know what? You know what you call? You wish you had it. You know what you'd call Scott Steiner if he had half a brain? Gifted. You know what you call Scott Steiner with no brain? Normal. <laughs> because it's like Mama said, to be that way sometimes. All the brains are on the side of the stable. That's the way it is. I'm smart. Daddy's smart. Jack's smart. Robert. Whoa! Look at that. Straight up in the air. He took that cactus Jack from a dead squat position right up over his head. And here comes Brian Lee. Brian Lee. Taking on first Hickerson and now Cactus Jack. Steiner backs Hickerson into the corner. Cactus Jack is backed into a corner. Here they go. Head on collision in the middle of the ring. 
Referee trying to get it settled down to two. Brian had a cover on Cactus Jack. Jumps up to go run downtown Bruto off. Bruto's running his mouth about a beat a guy up like that one time. Uh huh. I don't see him more to tangle with Brian oh. Lee in here. Oh, uh, with that whip, Cactus Jack nails Lee right in the back of the neck. Rolls over. Count of one, count of two, count of three. And before Scott Steiner can get over there and break it up, shown by Bill Hickerson today. tackled him and kept him away from the action in there. And it's going to go as a victory as the one, two, three came down on Brian Lee. Four minutes, 23 seconds, no doubt about it. The assist has to go to that bull whip that he knocked him down with. Yes, he did. Banged him right in the back of the head while Steiner and Hickerson went in one corner. It was Cactus Jack slamming him with that whip, and he got the pin on Brian Lee, one, two, three. Time out. Back in a moment. Yes, sir. Jerry Calhoun has just climbed back in the ring, and now we're waiting for Cactus Jack, Phil Hickerson, Scott Steiner, and Brian Lee to make their appearance once again. After a win, thanks to the handle of that bullwhip, Cactus Jack keeps on the uh, ring post over here. I notice they're back, and they're not bringing that back. Uh, the referee was not happy. He suspected no. what happened and went chasing them out of here, and the bullwhip is not in the wrestling area at this time. Uh, people were hollering at him about what did happen as he was over at that time with uh, Steiner and Hickerson and did not see it. Bell time, and here we go. Cactus Jack starting out against Brian Lee. That is, of course, the way it ended up. Jack was the one that nailed him in the back of the neck with a handle of that bull whip. Put him down, got a one, two, three, and got the victory in the first ball as we are ready here in the second ball. Big Brian Lee. In case you just joined us, first time that we have seen him here. He is from Orlando, Florida. Referee indicates very legal broad arm. Cactus Jack on the mat. Brian Lee's partner, Scott Steiner, out of Detroit. They make a pretty good-looking tag team. Of course, they haven't worked together much, but uh, size-wise, and uh, they're able to match up pretty well. Cactus Jack finds his arm up in a barred position there. Well, we haven't seen Lee that much, but uh, I can tell you his partner is as strong as any guy you'll see in the ring. And talking about Scott Steiner, he's a very hard, dedicated athlete, and uh, Brian Lee's got a good one to go with in there. Referee calls for a break as he was right over there by the rope. And now back up again, there's a tag, and here comes the CWA heavyweight champion, Phil Hickerson, for young Brian Lee to contend with. Oh, Hickerson with that right arm. Look at him, uh, right fist. He's not hitting with the arm. He hit him with a fist. Dumped over the back, Brian Lee hits the mat. Hickerson picks him up. He's using the hair. Slams his face into the mat. Hickerson, again, picking him up by the hair. Again, he's warned by the referee not to do that. And Hickerson breaks it, of course, before the referee started to count on it. Back in the corner. Hickerson with the right hand. Using first the fist, then the forearm, as the referee was watching closely. Hey, Brian Lee dumped the 289-pounder over his back. And Hickerson finds himself flying into the rope. Greeted by the upper arm of Brian Lee. Brian has made the tag on Scott Steiner. Looking yeah. good in this yeah. second ball. Looking mighty good against Big Phil Hickerson. CWA heavyweight champion. Steiner, monkey flips him out of the corner. There's a cover, one. Two. Can't make it stick. Hard to hold Big Phil down. And Ooh. meanwhile, Hickerson throws Steiner right through the ropes, out on the floor, and they're battling on the ring, the area beside the ring as Hickerson glomming away on the tough kid from Detroit. And we are about one minute away in time. One minute to go in action here in this second fall, and Steiner and Lee need a victory in order to bring this into a draw. They dropped that first ball. 
So they are desperately in need of it, and that is not the way you get it with Hickerson bouncing no. his head off there. And I'll say it again. The CWA is the number one wrestling organization in the world, and the Stud Stable is the number one organization in okay, any Bruno, organization. We understand We're you, Bob. Win. Mm -hmm. Brian Lee takes the tag, jumps down on Cactus Jack. He's got to go for a pin right here, Davey, if they have any hopes of evening us up. Time running down. We've got about 30 seconds to go, right. and the time will expire. Lee popped into it. Big knee comes up. He goes for the pin. He's got time. But Hickerson breaks it up, and they lose what may be their last opportunity to get this thing all evened up. As uh, in the corner, Steiner and Jack and Lee and Hickerson, and we are out of time. That's all. Time's out. That's the end of it. That doesn't mean the action stops as they keep it on, but our official time is up, and we're going to have to call it quits. The winners will be Hickerson and uh, Cactus Jack, right? They Dave? will, by virtue of that win in the first fall. So they win it one fall to none as time runs out here in the second fall. As you mentioned, Brian Lee and Scott Steiner had a couple of chances to, uh, to get a victory here, but it was broken up by uh, Phil Hickerson in yeah. one case. Had a real good shot at it with Cactus Jack right down in the short rows, but Hickerson broke that doggone thing up. Mike Kelly, we've had some action today. We saw the real uh, Robert Fuller come out here with his admission that his leg wasn't hurt. Finally Absolutely. admitted that. And uh, we're going to see him back in the ring in action this coming week against Jeff Jarrett and the single. It's been a good one. David, we got to get out of here, though. Time next is week? up. We'll be looking for everybody next week. And until then, bye-bye, everybody.